Oh, I mean, 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 I who turns out to be a Ghanaian. Samuel was so nice and randomly agreed to sit and chat with me the next day on camera about how this Ghanaian ended up living in the Caribbean. So come let me hear the man's story. Good afternoon everyone, how are y'all doing? My name is Alyssa Derek, aka Global Gyal and I'm here in Antigua and Barbuda, tiny island in the Caribbean and I have a very special guest here with me. He is from Ghana. Good afternoon, Samuel. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm yes. doing good. I'm doing Can you introduce yourself to the people? My name is Samuel Kwame Ampofu. So the Kwame tells you that I'm a Ghanaian. That's <laughs> Saturday born Kwame Ampofu. I come from Ghana, born in Accra, the capital, Kolebu specifically, the general hospital, teaching hospital. So you know what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. So I live in Accra and uh, my father comes from Achim Swedro from the eastern region okay. and my mom also comes from the eastern region, one suburb, uh, you know, town in the eastern region. My root from the eastern region, been born in Accra, live in Accra, study in Accra in Presec Legon. I like the intro and you know, I'm so excited because I actually know a couple of these places that he's talking about after living there for four months. I'm so interested in Samuel's story as a Ghanaian living here in Antigua, but I want to get a bit of background. What was your life like in Ghana? Just tell me a little bit about your childhood. My father was a military officer, a doctor at the military hospital working there. So that was where we grew up in between Test 7 and Bema Camp. Um, that is where I school. Mm, uh, the guys okay. in Germany school, and yes. that is where the best students come from. Yes. Yes. <laughs> from guys in primary school, I had a scholarship to Presec Legon. From there, one day I was in the house, and my dad came, and he said, "Some, uh, you know, uh, I, another scholarship for uh, children who want to go to Cuba. So if you can write the exams and you pass." You know, you can, you know, you can go. I say, yeah, I can do it. Hey. I, 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 I wanted to stay in the Caribbean. Yes, so. I like the confidence. <laughs> yeah, so once Cuba is in the Caribbean, uh -huh. that was my, you know, I took the opportunity, mm -hmm. had the interview, wrote the exams, and I got so good. I went through, mm -hmm. and then, uh, you know, I have to live by the age 13 years. That age, I have to go and continue my secondary school education in Cuba. So did yeah. you go by yourself? I go by myself. No parent. No parent. Yes. What? I'm coming to the Caribbean. That, so that is where <laughs> the story started. Yes. We went there, you know, and had friends there, and then it gives me an idea. My first time idea about the Caribbean, how the people are how yes. lovely, how they want to welcome you. Yes. They want to see you. Doesn't matter where you are coming from, from Africa, they don't discriminate. They, they see us as one. I studied and graduated in marine biology okay. and then went went back to Ghana and served my national service yes. with the terminal fishing harbor, the fisheries, okay. for two years, finished and then, you know, my national service. Then life started, you know, life. traveling, traveling. <laughs> <laughs> what, as a Ghanaian, did you hear or learn about the Caribbean from age zero to 13 that made you say, I want to go to the Caribbean? What was it? When I was there, the first time mm -hmm. I was told you are going to Cuba, all we know is it's Jamaica, Jamaica, Caribbean, reggae songs and uh, nice beaches and this and bam, bam, bam. The one like they told me Cuba is also in the Caribbean. I said, no, look, let me, okay. then there might be more Caribbean. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. You know, Caribbean so let me places. do this, go there and do this place. Yes, it seems like you have a, had a love for it even back then, you know, and you wanted to explore and you did explore. Yeah. Going to Ghana after my national service, mm -hmm. you know, I had friends in Cuba. Mm -hmm. So I have to come and visit again. Okay. And go through Barbados again. Yes. And 96, 97, I went back home. Uh -huh. Like she visited the family. That is where I met a friend who studied with me then. Uh -huh. He came here uh -huh. about one year time. He said, in listen, Cuba. Yeah. there's something going on here. In Antigua. In Antigua. So okay. you have to be here. I said, okay, let's see how, if God say I'll be here, I'll be here. Yeah. He said, I'm not thinking about, about it. I met him in Ghana again mm -hmm. all these years. And he told me, I gave you a homework to do. I said, think about <laughs> it. I say yes, I'm done, I'm finished. I was always praying to meet you <laughs> so that, you know, you give me the guidelines to yes, come to Antigua yes. and then go through him again, mm -hmm. made a way for me to come to Antigua. To come to Antigua. Same person. How long ago was that? We're talking about 1997, 98. Uh-huh. One uncle. Mm -hmm. When I told him I was coming in 98, mm -hmm. where are you going? What is that? 
this island, don't go and mess yourself, don't go. I said, no. I, I, a friend has invited me and I have to be here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he was telling me something like, and I, so today I told my sister that this uncle doesn't know nothing about it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. When I came, what is he was telling me was a different thing altogether. Complete opposite. Different thing. Yes. Moving here, you're living here now, but you lived in Cuba. You've passed through Barbados a couple of places. What are some similarities you would say that they have to Ghanaians or Ghana or different countries in West Africa, if any, if any at all? Yeah, let me tell you that too. Sometimes I see Antiguans and I, 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 feel, I feel in my spirit that they come from Ghana. Yeah? Looking at their face alone, it tells you they come from this part, this region. Really? They come from Vuta region. Wow. Some of them come from North. Looking at them alone, yes. tells you that there is a connection. We can't separate ourselves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We must be connected. Mm -hmm. Looking at them alone will tell you something about Ghana. And if I'm a Ghanaian, it's, it's different. It hits different because you, you yeah. know, you know, yeah. you know. No, you can know. You can yes. know. And some of them too, I'm happy I see them wearing African dresses. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who loves African dresses. Yeah. You say, say you can't take my goods from me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go to Ghana and visit Ghana. So I know some are anxious to go there and visit them. Yes. Some people too are anxious in you know, Ghana to visit them. To Caribbean. visit, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And hopefully our, our officials are working on getting yeah. that done. Yeah. Talking about the food, there are similarities. We have something called Dokuno. Yes. Yeah, we have something called Dekono. Yeah, Dokono. Dokono, Dokono, yeah. right. So yes. Dekono and Dokono is the same thing. Same the thing. The fanties have their Dokono, fancy Dokono. So the way you put it in the herb, dried herbs and, you know, wrap and then it. wrap it yes. up and cook it, it's the same thing here. Yes. Maybe it might taste somehow. A little different. A One difference. or two ingredients, yeah. a little different. But it's the same thing with your pepper, with fish, what, what, everything. Yes. It's the same thing here. <laughs> yeah, the plantain, you see there, the same thing same here. Thing the cassava, here. cocoa yam. Everything that you need uh, from Africa, everything is here. You no know, fungi, you're familiar with fungi? Yeah, no fungi, yes. Fungi is close to, we yeah. have something food called in the Vota region called Aklen. Okay. The Vota region, the Aklen is the corn meal, the yellow corn that you push, you use it to do fungi. Fungi? It's the same thing, Hell? whether white or yellow, it's the same thing in the Vota region. What? And even that place, they have to do the pepper and the you know tomatoes, yeah. the onions, yeah, yeah, and then yeah, fried yeah, things yeah. or anything. Yeah. And you go with your fungi. When people ask what the similarities for me is, I say Ghanaians are very relaxed, mm -hmm. very open, very welcoming, just like Antiguans and yeah. Barbados and Caribbean people as well. I feel like it's just a more laid back vibe. Yeah, I, yeah. I sometimes wonder if it's the weather because yeah. it's hot, but I think it's it's something in the people. Uh, Ghanaians, I think too are also relaxed, welcome, yes, the similarity, the same hospitality, course. everything. Of course. I mean the way they receive you. As if they knew you thousand years ago. Exactly. You, don't strange, like. you know what other thing that I realized too? When it rained here, mm -hmm. Antiki people don't like to go work. They don't like, they were relaxed. The same, same thing, thing in Ghana. Ghana. Same thing in Ghana. <laughs> when it rains, it means everything has to everything come Everything done. As if they're afraid. They're afraid of the rain. Yes. They are not salt. <laughs> One time Ghana said, no, we Ghanaians, we are like salt. Anytime it rains, we want to hide. Because if the rain touch the salt, the salt will get wet. The salt will melt. Oh, yeah, yes. no salt. It's the same here, it's the, the same, same here. Well, it sounds as though for sure you, you appreciate the Caribbean yeah. and you know you really value it. In living here in Antigua, I guess what are some of the questions? When you tell somebody here hey, I'm from Ghana, what do they what do they ask you? Once they hear you are from Ghana, yeah. You have to be ready for question. So they will ask you how's the place like, how's the people like. Mm -hmm. After I tell them about Ghana, show them some pictures. Oh, that's no, I don't. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Oh, I see. We, we're hearing something else. Yeah. But we realize that that place is a big place. Yes. You know, develop and all those yes, things. Yeah, and there yeah. must be that connection between Africa and Caribbean. After I finish, you know, telling them something about it, it's like then I have to go and visit there. Yes. And and, and know where my ancestors live. Or, yes. You know, go back. And trees. Mm -hmm. Well, Samuel, thank you so much for sitting down for chatting with me. Again, I think this just shows and goes to show the hospitality yeah. Ghanaians have, Antiguans have that we could do this and now Sam was like I'm gonna link you with a friend that I have in Ghana yeah, he was so like yeah he's lived in Antigua for years but he's yeah, Ghanaian yeah. and so I, I I love that and I hope that we can continue to do that yeah. so if you're from Ghana if you're from West Africa and you're wondering about the Caribbean yeah. Sam was here to tell you it's possible right. and it's worth it yes it's possible and so I encourage you that make your mind we go to Dubai and but the original Caribbean beaches sea 
you will get it in Antigua and Barbuda. Yes. So make for your sure. mind and then know that uh, you know it's not only about Jamaica. It's not only about I know you know about Trinidad and Tobago, <laughs> Barbados, Ghanaians are there. Nurses working about two hundred nurses working. Yeah. About Barbados, Barbados, okay. Trinidad and Tobago, Jamaica. Yeah. I want to tell you that if you come here, Antigua and Barbuda, you'll mm -hmm. be very, very, very happy. Definitely. Very, very. It's a peaceful country, quiet, very nice country. Yes. Very, very quiet. No violence. No. That stuff, you'll be quiet, you'll be happy here. Well, nice that. beaches, 365 beaches, two twin islands, Antigua and Barbuda. So, you'll enjoy the beaches with pink sands. And I mean, I, I, I don't know, I'm yet, I've been two years, but I've still, I still have a lot to recover to know much. No, Trust me. I don't so, even I know you've not heard a lot of uh, Antigua and Barbuda. Mm -hmm. Now you've heard about it. Yes. So, spread the news. Yes. Let them know. All right, y'all. So, when I come back to Antigua, I definitely have to link up with Samuel again. And when I'm in Ghana and in Accra, I will link up with some of Samuel's people. Right, right. Thank you all so much for watching. Right. Tell us your thoughts in the comments. Tell us when y'all are coming to Antigua. You done hear it from the horse's mouth thank you again so much samuel thank you and we will call it quits from here okay bye everyone till the next hey. video ciao ciao <laughs>